Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dan again for Crypto Camacho. And look behind me, guys. Everything is in the green. The crypto markets are in the positive. They are green today. Bitcoin is up. Ethereum is up. Ripple is up. Litecoin is up. Dash is up. IOTA is up. ADA. Cardano is up. Everything is looking really good today, guys. Yesterday and today, we've been in a very nice bull market. We've seen the prices of many, many cryptocurrencies go up, and we could be entering a bull market now overall. We're reversing the trend. We're seeing a reversal in trend from a bear market for the last several months, right? From like December, January on, all the way until now, where I think the trends are now reversing, and we're gonna be seeing a bull market in the next couple months to come, which means, Really, really big gains for everybody across the board. So let me break this down for you guys of why I think the bear market is ending. So first and foremost, we're seeing in the headlines, if you search for bear market crypto ending, you're gonna see headline after headline after headline of people saying that the bear market is ending. That means the sentiment in the market is indicating that the bear market is ending. We're reversing it to a bull market <clears throat> and that's largely dread, uh, that's largely, largely, led by sentiment in the market and fear of missing out in the market, right? So the, the sentiment overall is turning positive, it's turning more bullish. Even Tommy Lee, the founder and creator of Litecoin is saying cryptocurrency altcoin bear market ending. And that looks like things are turning the corner. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I have a little cold, so my voice is straining a little bit, but please bear with me. Because I'm about to break down and show you why on the charts, why the market is going to be becoming a bull market here very, very soon. So if we go over to coin market cap, we'll see again that most of the cryptocurrencies are in the green. A lot of heavy gains here, 11, 14, 17, 18% and higher. If you go down the list, we see 25%, we see 34% from uh, Bytum. A lot of coins are going up in value <clears throat> and I wanna break down a few of those and look at those with you. So if we first go and look at the Bitcoin chart, I zoomed way out looking at a one day chart at a year time frame. This will give you really the big picture of Bitcoin right here. This is a Bitcoin USDT tether pair and you can see that before you know the new year in 2017 we saw the price of Bitcoin skyrocket skyrocket up then we saw it slowly kind of tank down all the way right to where it was at 6,000 uh, in February and then close to 6,000 this month in April, right? And the reason I think that we're turning a corner here, guys, is because you've got to look at the trend lines. Look at the trends from the top and the bottom. If we look at the trend from the top, we see the tops, 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 tops. These are all levels indicating uh, resistance where people are selling. There's enough resistance in the market when the price gets up to a certain level, it, it drops, right? Because there's a certain amount of resistance. Enough people think that the price of Bitcoin is going to go down or there's enough bears, enough shorters that are pushing the price of Bitcoin down. That trend has largely been going down as you can see, right? Same thing from the bottom. If you look at the bottoms, all the bottoms have been consistently getting lower until wait, until right here. The, the, the trend seems to be reversing. It's been going down, 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 down. And then the last drop, we didn't quite make it down to 6,000. We made it to like 6,500, right? So we've seen this kind of reversing trend, which I'm showing you right here. And this is not only with the Bitcoin market. This is with a lot of the cryptocurrencies, which I'm gonna show you here in a sec. So this could be an indication that we are seeing more support than a high, at higher bottoms than we have in the past, right? So in February, we saw a bottom of 6,000. Now we're seeing a bottom of 6,500. And then we're gonna still see kind of these, these trends and it could potentially just go back up from here, right? Let me clean this chart. In a scenario where we're gonna see another drop, it could look like this. It could look like, you know, another top here, another top here, another top here. There could be one more, you know, potential top or dip that goes like this, something like this. Um, and it goes up here and then comes back down and then comes back around and goes up. That is definitely possible. But from what I'm seeing on all the other cryptocurrency charts, it isn't looking likely. Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin Cash. So if you look at the Bitcoin Cash chart going out a year uh, in the one day charts, kind of the same scenario, right? We see a big up uptrend here, which we saw at the beginning of the year. Then we see the top top and they're consistently getting lower and lower and lower. Same with the bottoms, consistently getting lower and so we're seeing a channel on the down trend. That is largely now being reversed, right? You're seeing that happening here. It's starting to curve around. Uh, we could see one more dip 
from uh, Bitcoin Cash, but I think we've seen the largest of the dips go from here. Ethereum is no different. I wanna show you this, because I think it's, again, another very good chart to, to show you uh, this as well. So same thing here, but it's a little bit different, right? We've leveled out at about 375 as the, the complete low point for Ethereum. So if you look down right here, uh, right here, we see a low point for Ethereum at about 375, right? We've seen the consistent downtrend, similar to what we've seen with some of the others, but now we're seeing that reversal, right? And again, this could come back, but it's the same type of scenario where it's starting to, to kind of curve around, right? And if you look at other uh, cryptocurrencies, let's just look at, um, let's look at Mcash as an example. Let's go out to one year. Let's go to, uh, let's just go one hour charts, right? So let me zoom out on this. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and cash is a little bit different here because we have been seeing ups, right? We see the trend now starting to go up from the bottom, right? So very low, low, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. The lows keep getting higher. So there's a little bit more support over and over and over. And we can see that trend continue to go up, you know, and these are getting lower as well, right? Um, so again, I think the trend is going up. If we want to look at, let's look at EOS because this has been a big one that has gained in the last few days. But let's look at EOS real quick here. Um, and let's zoom out again. EOS has been kind of an interesting one, right? So this is a good one to, to show you, right? We had a big bull run in December. Then we see a huge drop. Now we're seeing a huge, huge spike all the way back to the highs, right? So I can see this dropping a little bit down here, right? Going maybe a little bit further down, but then eventually going back up and higher than its previous highs. This is again, another indication that we're, we're turning things around. If we go to Cardano, ADA, same exact scenario, right? We see this big uptick in December, uh, right, whoop, right here. Okay, big uptick in November, uh, in December. Then we start seeing the trending going down, like we're seeing all these tops, same thing here, but the lows are not quite as low, right? We're seeing a low here, but the last low, not as low, not as low, indicates a bit of a trend up, right? So again, you can see these kind of trends going up again. So this is the time, guys. This is maybe your last chance to get in on this bull market before we really start going to the moon. This is not a prophecy. This is just looking at the technical charts, seeing that things are starting to change. Tax season is over. People are getting ready to, to get and jump into spring, to spend more money, right? And that is indicative of what you're seeing on these charts. So now is a good time. There could be there could be one more dip <clears throat> before we start seeing things go up. It could be a big dip, right? Um, but it may not be. We are seeing the trends going around. Keep an eye on this because this is a fantastic, fantastic time to get into cryptocurrency and you will not go wrong. The next couple of months are going to be explosive. I can't be more excited. I'm Dan from Crypto Camacho. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think we're entering a bull run? Do you think the bear market is already over or do you think that the bears are gonna continue to go down? Let me know guys. Click on the red button below to subscribe to Crypto Camacho's YouTube channel and I will talk to you soon. See you guys.